the opportunity to connect around the subject of prayer and to pray. And I'm so blessed. Last week, Pastor Nolene had been away at a Heidi Baker conference up in Johannesburg. And she's just going to say hello to you. It's so good for us to be together again to do GFLT Magazine Live. Over to you, Pastor Hi, Nolte. buddies, Facebook buddies. It's wonderful to be back. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to today because uh, prayer is really a good foundation for all of us, actually. Yes. So I'm really looking, for, looking forward to today's uh, topic. Yeah, thanks, Pastor Nolene. And I think why I'm excited particularly about the subject because I'm, I'm here in the, in, the, in the studio with somebody who prays regularly. Now, we all pray, but there's some people who uh, God somehow puts a special grace upon their lives and they seem to be able to tap deeper into the, the realm of connection with God and prayer. And so I just want to go to the Bible because I believe that's the place to start whenever you're doing something like this. For those who've joined us, I can see at the moment we've got Jerome. Like it, Jerome. Thank you for joining us. We've also got Sharante Naidu. We've got Celeste Montague. We've got Jaden Diedrichs. Jaden, thank you for tuning in. We've also got uh, Joshua who's joined in and we've got Fees Moody joining. We've also got uh, Tulsa. Tulsa. people from Tulsa, uh, Thomas Rea. Thank you, Thomas, for joining with us uh, all across the ocean. That's how beautiful God has made things via technology we can connect. And so the place to start, if you've got a prayer request or you've got a question or you've got a comment, Pastor Nolte and I, to the best of our ability, uh, will try to respond from the scriptures and also as the Spirit of God would lead us. But I want to go to the Bible because that's, as I said early on, is where we want to start. Now, uh, somebody once said that if you lose the entire canon of scripture, but you've only got Matthew 5, 6, and 7 left, mm -hmm. the Beatitudes. That's enough for us to live a complete balanced life. Yeah. You heard that, Pastor Nolte? Yes, yes. Mm. And, 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 and so, um, Jesus, when he talks about some of the core essentials, he says, when you fast, he says, when you give, and he says, when you pray. What do you think about that, Pastor Nolte? Yeah, I know those three key things are, they just access a whole new world, a supernatural world that's beyond our comprehension. Yes. And so uh, those are the keys, actually, yeah. to, to any believer's life. And even those seeking, yeah. uh, calling out in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, uh, you know, he, he takes it for granted. Like Pastor Nolte said, they are key to the supernatural world. Mm -hmm. When you fast, when you give, and when you pray. Now, the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6, reading from verse 5, When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, mm -hmm. for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, mm -hmm. pray to your Father who is unseen, then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Yes. You want to say something about that, Pastor yes. Noli? Uh, you know, and that's why I really applaud intercessors mm -hmm. and prayer warriors right. and people that do things behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Because it's, that's a place where the power is released yes. over nations, over communities, over families. Yeah. And many times we can religiously pray right. and we think. Yeah. But really, if you really study beyond the scripture, it also talks yeah. about the Our Father. Yes. And the Our Father, many of us have learned, even from school, right. that it's a religious thing just to pray Our mm -hmm. Father, but mm -hmm. we don't understand the depth yeah. of what that prayer really means. Yeah. And we're just so privileged, even again, at our GFLA Academy, mm. to be doing the topic about prayer That's and fantastic. unpacking the Our Father, yeah. coming back to what you say, not praying like the Pharisees, yes. but understanding why Jesus actually yeah. gave the disciples that to pray. Yeah, it, and, and that's so true what Pastor Nolan's saying. Uh, I've seen we've got uh, Lindsay that's joined us. Thank you, Lindsay. Nathaniel Naidu and Leah Ramdeen. Thank you for joining us, guys. We're talking about the power of prayer. And in the Beatitudes, which is the Beatitude, what we should be like, uh, because we know that behavior is driven by belief. Jesus says, when you fast, when you give, when you pray. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Nolan has just said, currently at GFLA, Mm -hmm. She's teaching the module on prayer and, 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 and how appropriate. It's not just the theoretical aspect of prayer, but it's really what prayer is all about. Now, we've got a few prayer requests here. People have been kind enough to share them with us. And we're going to talk about prayer at three levels. Number one, personal prayer. Number two, corporate prayer. And number three, prayer that initiated revival. Because mm -hmm. we've been talking about the generals of revival. Mm -hmm. And uh, two weeks ago when Pastor Nolan was on, there were so many people requesting prayer. And that's what initiated even this GFLC that we are currently busy with today. 
So uh, the Bible says in the book of James, we're going to talk about personal prayer just for a moment. Is any one of you in trouble? Let them pray. Yes. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Mm -hmm. Is anyone among you sick? Let mm -hmm. them call for the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. Yes. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they'll be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. So what we're doing here with the personal prayer is fulfilling this basic requirement the Apostle James writes, pray for each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he goes on to say, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. I'm going to ask Pastor Noel just mm -hmm. to pray for somebody today. Leslie Ann Nell has asked us to pray that her father is to go in for surgery on his foot, but he's afraid. And we're just going to, for a quick moment, ask Pastor Noel just to pray for Leslie Ann's dad mm -hmm. that the spirit of fear would no longer take a hold of him. And as you've joined us, we ask you to agree with us. Kerry, thank you for joining. Timothy, uh, Lola, thank you for joining us. We just want to pray and agree right now that Leslie Ann's dad will be touched and fear will leave him, and he'll be able to go for surgery. Can we pray, Pastor? Yes, let's pray. Father, yeah. we thank you for Leslie Ann's dad. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you hold all things together. Yes, Lord. Now we pray, God, we release over him the spirit of peace. Yes. Who, who, Father, and, and that we drive out the spirit of fear over his life. Yes. And we pray, God, that even as he goes in, that the, that the spirit of peace will be upon him, yes. and that the surgeons and, and every aspect that he yes, needs to agree, see to, Lord. Lord, we pray that he will be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. But most of all, that the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Yes. will be Leslie's portion, the family's portion, and his portion, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Nolene. And thank you for joining us, Facebook Buddies. If you've mm -hmm. just joined us, we've got mm -hmm. Tracy Anton who's joined us. Thank you, Tracy, mm -hmm. for being part of this mm -hmm. uh, highly about interactive prayer. Prayers. So we want to talk a little bit about personal prayer mm -hmm. before we pray for another mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Pastor Nolene, can you share some uh, insights? Yeah. What's helped you? to be able to connect deeply with God in this area of prayer. Yeah, you know, even again, if I refer back to the Our Father, yes. it says on, uh, you know, on earth as it is in heaven. Right. And part of the five aspects actually of prayer, right. the first one is personal prayer. Okay. It says pray for yourself. And, and again in Jude, hmm. and I'm going to, uh, you know, coming back to answering your question, yeah. in Jude 1 verse 20, it says, but you, dear friends, by building yourselves up, Mm -hmm. in your most holy faith yeah. and praying in the Holy Spirit. Right. Keep yourself in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to bring you to eternal life. Right. And that's so key because we need the Holy Spirit. And I think Amen. that was key. Amen. You know, my own personal experience that I got born again. Yeah. Two weeks after I was born again, mm -hmm. a, a, a intercessor, warrior, Joni Fetter, mm -hmm. warrior of the faith, right. introduced me to pray. That's good. And she came to me and she said, I, I, I can't offer you gold. I can't offer you silver. I can't offer you all yeah. these things. But what I can offer you will take you for the rest of your life. Right. And I thank God every day for that because that's where I learned to make the Holy Spirit my best friend. Right. It was in those mornings of discipline. Yeah. That makes so it was myself that had to heed yeah. to what the scripture is saying so that I must build myself up. Right. And many times I think with prayer, we, it's nice for other people to pray for us. Yes. But I think today we, we're motivating. Yes, we're praying for people. Right. But for yourself, many yeah. of us don't pray for ourselves. Right. I remember once a gentleman in the church said to me, but pastor, uh, uh, pastor, the Lord's not interested in the small things in our lives. Right. It's only when we pray for the big things. Mm. I, I differ. Yes. Because God's interested in everything. He knows the number of hairs on our head. Yes. And when we get the revelation of that, mm -hmm. making the Holy Spirit our friend, yeah. then we already have a relationship. Yeah. See, it's a relationship. And that's yeah. what this, the, the Our Father is about. It's about a relationship with God, yeah. not a religious act. Yeah. And I think that's where we get it wrong. And I think that's key, what you're saying, is that the Holy Spirit, if you've just joined us, we've got uh, Auntie Queenie Stoffels. Auntie Queenie, thank you for joining us. Um, is that you've got to have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mm. He is your friend. Mm. He, he himself knows, knows how to intercede even when we can't. Yes. And if he's a friend, yes. he, will, he will equip you, he'll empower you, he and he'll motivate yes. you. Yes. Now, Pastor yes. Noel says that when she started out, yeah. she had to discipline herself. Yes. To go to the house mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. And I know you used to pray 5 a.m. in the morning, isn't yep. it? Every morning, or as often as possible, getting to the house of God, starting with the natural. Mm -hmm. And when you get there, even though you don't feel like it, the Holy Spirit quickens you. And mm -hmm. he gives you the ability to start to pray. When yes. somebody says, I'm so discouraged, I'm so mm -hmm. disappointed, I say, get to the posture of prayer. Yeah. 
and let the Holy Spirit do the rest. You want to add anything extra? Yes, there, and I think it's simple things like if we start our day, we may not all be able to get to the church, right? But we can have a disciplined life of making sure mm-hmm. the first thing we do in the morning is to speak to the Holy Spirit. And yes. once you do that, you're submitting. First of all, you're asking Him that you partner with you. That means right. you have a relationship. Right. Secondly, we're asking Him to anoint us for the day. Right. Thirdly, we're saying to Him, we're submitting our day to you, Lord. Yes. And fourthly, we're saying any decisions we're making today, today yeah. we're asking you to come into them yeah. and help us make the right choices because that's where the consequences come in. Right. And then thirdly, that's how we get the peace and the joy yeah. to be able to overcome the day. That's a five-point hyper-impact. Can you just say those five points again? Yes. First of all, we're saying to God, like from the scripture, Jude, right. Lord, we're choosing to partner with you. Right. Secondly, we're saying, Lord, and Lord, anoint us yeah. for the day. We then need that enablement. We need that enablement. We don't yeah. know what's going to come our right. way. Then we say, Lord, we submit our day to you. Yes. We're giving him authority mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. our day. And then we say, Lord, help us with our daily decisions. Yes. Help us with the decisions and the choices we're making for today right. that we won't have any negative consequences. Right. And then lastly, we say, because we do that, mm-hmm. we then realize that that's how we get God's peace and that's how we get God's joy. Wow. Those five key points, if you get into them and you it gotta start in a natural. Yeah. Oftentimes people think this is just gonna supernaturally come over you and all of a sudden you're gonna get an urge to pray. You gotta mm-hmm. tell this body, hey mm-hmm. body. I must talk to my Jesus. I must talk to my Savior. I must interact with him because he's my daddy. He's my Lord. He's my big brother. Mm-hmm. But I want to, I have a relationship mm-hmm. with him. Mm-hmm. Once you get to that point and you execute yes. those five things, something special will happen to you. And we also want to thank you, mm-hmm. Roxanne mm-hmm. and uh, Pastor mm-hmm. Bibi have joined mm-hmm. us and KGB, mm-hmm. V. Munnery and Melanie van der Thank you guys for being a part of what we're doing here today. Pastor Mills, you got anything else to say? I want to just end say? with that scripture yeah. about the peace and joy because I really believe it's a season where God's peace is going to come over us in a, in a way that we've never known before. Okay. Even if we're going through a struggle. All right. Personally, you know, many people are going through a struggle at this right. time. We know that. Yeah. But God's peace yeah. passes all understanding. And right. in Romans 14 verse 17, it says, right. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, drinking yeah. but of righteousness, righteousness. Peace Peace and and joy joy in the Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. Righteousness means I'm in right standing with with Him. I will get the peace of God and I'll have the joy. And I believe the church of God has lost their joy because they don't know God's peace. And many of us uh, judge ourselves because we don't know we're actually in right standing with God. Righteousness, God's giving us a chance. But if we're not in relationship with Him, we never understand we're in right standing Mm. with Him. Will, will you just release that peace upon the people? Yes, I'll do that. Father, I think that's crucial. we thank you. We release yes, the peace of God over the over every individual watching today. And those who will over watch Over their later, families Lord. and those yes. that will watch later. Yes. We release the peace. Lord, we thank you for what's happening Jehovah in our country Shalom. at this time. And yes, Jehovah Lord. Shalom. Yeah. We release the peace in of the God of that will draw all men to yourself, Lord, because of the Holy Spirit. So peace of God, we, we, we release you over every person watching, over every person that will be watching yes, later, Lord. over yes, every Lord. family, yes, over Lord. every individual over mm-hmm. every business mm-hmm. person, over every person struggling at this time. Yeah. Lord, we pray there's no distance in prayer. In so we Jesus release name. the peace of God, the peace of God, yeah. Jehovah Shalom, over each person, over this nation, over yes, our Lord. families. In, in the name. name of Jesus, we in pray. Jesus name. Amen and amen, amen and amen. And while speaking about peace, personal, we yes. got Sarusha. Yes. Sarusha has been out of a job for a long time. She's, she's 29 and... Uh, she she has been for surgery and she's been sick and she's feeling that she's cursed and she's in a lot of pain and uh, you know she's been a prayer warrior all her life but right now she feels like giving up she's at the point of desperation yes. and uh, right now uh, even if you don't know Sarusha if you're watching can you just agree with me as we ask the Holy Spirit just to go to where Sarusha is the fact that she had the courage the name of Jesus. to write down this prayer request on our Facebook page shows that she's really in need Yes, and we Father. want to also thank uh, Lindsay, who's joined us, and Faye, Faye from the Murphy. Faye, thank you for joining us. Just agree with us, Faye, as we pray for Sarusha. Lord, Lord we, we thank, thank you, you for Sarusha. Yes, Lord, we know that you know her heart. Yes, Lord. We know, God, that she's Jesus feeling name. despondent. She's feeling downcast. Mm. She's feeling disillusioned mm. and discouraged. But, mm. Holy Spirit, you can go right to where Sarusha is right now, and you In can inspire her, and you can raise her up from In that place of, of despondency. Lord, you you said if the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead yes, lives in us, it will quicken us 
It'll make our bodies come alive. Rebuild hope Jesus in Sarusha, name. Lord, Jesus that she name. would know that you are a friend that sticks closer than a brother, mm. that she would even know, God, that even in her place Jesus of desperation, we name. bring the words of the great psalmist. Mm. I was young, now I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken or begging for bread. Put your hand upon Sarusha yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen and amen. And amen. Facebook buddies, if you've joined us, Timothy, thank you again for even uh, agreeing with us mm -hmm. in prayer. Timothy, mm -hmm. we appreciate mm -hmm. that. And uh, uh, Beniva, thank you for joining us as well. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to transition from personal prayer into church prayer or corporate prayer. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Azusa Street Revival, mm -hmm. you, uh, last week we dealt with Back to God, mm -hmm. uh, a Reverend Bengu who was a mighty man of God. Mm -hmm. We see all these great revivals. Yes. They were birthed in corporate prayer. Yes. The first book on revival I read, I get goosebumps when I talk about it. It's called Like a Mighty Wind. Yeah. It's written by a man by the name of Mel Tari, and he talks about the great Indonesian revival. And in the Indonesian revival, there were only five people, if my memory serves me, or let me not quote the exact number. There were a handful of people, and they were praying on a Saturday evening, and the Holy Spirit showed up in their meeting. And cloven tongues of fire sat on each one's head. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning of a revival that affected the whole of Southeast Asia. Because a handful of people gathered together. We are recognizing in this day, more and more people are reluctant to go to prayer. And that's why the church is becoming more and more powerless. Mm -hmm. Pastor Noel, do you want to say anything about the need for corporate prayer? Yes. The need for the church to come together. I think if the church catches the revelation, and who is the church, Pastor Greg? You and I. You and I are the yeah, church. We yeah. come together corporately yeah. to a building. Yeah. But if you read in Ephesians 3 verse 10, it says this. Read His it intent yeah. was that now, yeah. through the church, yeah. the manifold wisdom of, of God, God yeah. should be made known yeah. to the rulers and the authorities in the heavenly realms. Amen. Amen. You know, and there you see, God wants to do on earth. He wants to release what's been said in heaven on right. earth through the church. Through the church, yeah. And there's no other way he's going to do it. The church is God's A plan. The church is God's There's A plan. There's no B plan for There's God. There's no B plan for yeah, God. Yeah. And irrespective of what people think the structural church yes, has done yes. wrong, yeah. uh, irrespective of God won't change his And mind. as humans, as pastors, we can fail, but yep. that doesn't nullify yep. who the church is. <laughs> it's founded on the a, a revelation of the apostles and prophets there with Jesus go. Christ himself yes. being the chief cornerstone. And Take us further. Yes, personals. and God there says, that's why you need to pray for your leaders. Mm -hmm. Not cuss them, not curse them, not mm -hmm. all the things that the earth tells us to do right. or natural mm -hmm. man tells mm -hmm. us to do, but to be able to pray for your leaders because yeah. they've been put there yeah. to usher in the anointing of God. Yes. You see, to I usher agree. in. And I then agree. it says here for God's anointing, mm -hmm. for faith, for vision, for, for, for provision, for protection, for everything you need is found in the church. Yes. And that's where we, we, why the church is so important. Absolutely, I agree. Mm -hmm. And Roxanne has just said, I love a church, our church and pastors because we are, in, we, we are passionate about teaching and loving. Yes. And, and, and that's what we're aiming to accomplish here. Mm -hmm. And I believe mm -hmm. the same for mm -hm. every church in the city. Yes, yes. The pastors there are passionately yes. wanting the members in the congregation to go to prayer. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a solemn assembly. God is calling the church back. He's mm -hmm. calling his people mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. Go to the house of God and go to your prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. Because it's there that God will release, as Pastor Nolan uh, said, the manifold wisdom of God yes. to a dying world. Yes. It comes to the body. The church is not a building. No, and that's why, Pastor Greg, you mentioned the word powerless. Yes. So in me saying that you need to pray for your leaders and pray for each other is because the church is you and I. Yeah. So even though we are the spiritual leaders of God's family life church, yes. each church has a leadership. But yeah. who's the leader in your home? Yes. Is he falling asleep? Is she falling Ooh, asleep? Talk to us are the about children that. falling asleep? Yeah. So we fall asleep and you'll see here in Ephesians 6 19 yeah, to 20 it says, it says right. pray also for me yes. that whenever I speak words yeah. may be given to given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the, the mystery gospel. of the gospel that's for which Paul, I, right for which I am an ambassador in chains pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should I want to take that further further yeah just in just not just natural interpretation yeah. Yeah. from a prayer and intercessory point of view yeah. many of us are fearful yeah because we do not do the mandate of preaching the gospel yes preaching the gospel doesn't mean you to quote scripture and and be like bible punches yeah. but your life and to offer hope to people yes. there when you're in that office right now you're sitting next to someone that's maybe wanting yes. to go commit yes. suicide yes. now yes. lunchtime yeah. you're sitting with that girl in your class who doesn't have uh, no hope you're yes. sitting with anybody that needs some kind of 
Depression is killing the church of yes, God. Yes, Why? Because we are hopelessness. There's no hope. Yeah. The faith has died. It's because we have forgotten how to come to the basics and to pray for one another Amen. and to pray for ourselves and then translate yeah. into that. So that's how we have actually lost our fire. Our fire. Yeah. You know? And, and, and Pastor Nolte, I want to come back to what you say. That the great apostle here, yeah, yeah. The man who planted more than 20 churches, mm -hmm. the man who wrote more than two thirds of the New mm -hmm. Testament, is the man asking the church at Ephesus to pray for him. Yeah. I'm going to ask Pastor Noel to pray for all the pastors yes. in the city. Yes. Every man yes. of God, every woman of God, everyone who leads a church, yes, everyone who leads a ministry, we're going to pray for them. Because you know what? We need prayer too. Yes. But just before, yes. I want to quote what Tracy Anton says. Tracy says, if God can do it before, he's more than able to do it again. We've been experiencing waves of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. Let's not take it lightly. God is moving. He is visiting us. What an honor. Amen. Thank you, Rob uh, Bentley, for joining us. And also for Craig Gopal for joining us mm -hmm. as we pray. I'm mm -hmm. going to ask Pastor Knowles right now mm -hmm. just to pray. And as you're there, come on, can you just put a sign of prayer right now in the, in, the, in, the, in the comment section of the Facebook just to agree with us. We're going to pray for the leaders of the city, not only the, of, the, of the pastors in Peter Mattersburg, but in KZN and in mm -hmm. our nation. Mm -hmm. Can we just pray for that person? Yes, Father, yeah. we thank you for who yes. you are. We invite mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit now Jesus. to come and reveal to us, oh God, the authority that you have given us yes, from Lord. heaven to earth. Mm -hmm. Father, we also want to thank you, God, yeah. that on earth we are so privileged because if you understand the heavenly uh, criteria and the heavenly authority, even before some things even get to us on earth, the angels, 10,000 and 10,000 and 10,000 of angels yes, are fighting on our behalf, yes, Lord. preventing some warfare, mm -hmm. some war things that we need to face on earth yes, just Lord. because you love us God yes, so we want to thank you for that Father Lord I pray for every man of God every yes. woman of God yes, Lord. every every the minister the churches in the city, the God. In the city Lord. Yes, Lord every intercessor yes, I call God. you out of the cave in the yes. name of Jesus yes, Lord. I call you out of the hurt out yes. of the bruising yes, out of everything that you will access what heaven has Amen. ordained and given Amen. to you yes, I Lord. access the call to be on fire once again yes. I access the call that he yeah. who began a good work in we'll you is work. able to finish it yes. into completion and give you back your authority so I call you out of that despondency. Mm. I call you out of that cave. Yeah. I call you out of the maintenance yeah. of what the needs of the people are. Yeah. I call you out of that despair this morning. Yes. And I pray in the name of Jesus, you will rise up. You will rise up, hallelujah, to the person that God has called you to be. So I pray the responsibilities that you have. It's a privilege and a responsibility. Yes. And may the responsibility given to you by heaven's mandate, the calling. Yes. You've made it an election show. Take now care. we call the authority of God to fall afresh on you so that the grace of God will empower you to be able to Thank and you, to, to move you, into the privilege that you have of being on earth but accessing heaven on earth. Hallelujah. So we release to you now in the name of the Father the anointing that belongs to you so that many, many can be touched by the power of the Spirit of God. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name. Thank in you, Jesus Pastor Noli. That was powerful. Remember, uh, Facebook buddies, for those who've joined us, I see we have Carmelita, we have Katie Archery. Um, Katie has also asked for a special prayer. And, and Katie, we know you're watching right now, and we're going to pray for you, Katie, mm -hmm. that God will just do something special for you. Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, I pray right now for Katie and her family. We know they've lost a three-year-old who has succumbed uh, to name. death by neurotic syndrome. Jesus name. And we pray now, Lord, for the family. Oh, we God. know it's unbearable. Oh, God. Lord, it's so difficult when you lose a loved Jesus one. Name. We know you're a friend, Lord, that sticks closer than a brother. And Lord, even as Katie's joining us now, you are near her. You said, Lord, Lord blessed Jesus are they Lord. that mourn, yes, for they shall be comforted. Lord, you said it's better to go to the house of mourning Thank than you, to go to the house of feasting. Lord, you wept at just before Lazarus's tomb because you felt the pain. Name you are the Jesus. great high priest Name who's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Touch Katie, touch their family Name as they bury their three-year-old. You Jesus are, Name. God, a friend who's with them in this season. Thank you, Katie, we love you and God Thank bless you, you in this season. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, we're still on this whole important aspect of prayer in the church. Mm -hmm. How do you lead prayer in the church? I believe there are three criteria for the man or the woman who's leading the prayer. One, you must be Holy Spirit filled. Pastor Noli spoke about that at first. Yes. Secondly, you must be flexible. Mm -hmm. That means you are not wanting to structure the prayer according to how you think prayer should be done. Mm -hmm. All the great revivals, all the generals that we've mm -hmm. dealt with, even mm -hmm. Smith Wigglesworth, mm -hmm. they were unconventional in their approach to praying mm -hmm. and ministry. Mm -hmm. We should not be stuck in a routine. No. Flexibility. Mm -hmm. 
And three, we must be humble yeah. because sometimes we've come with a plan, but God has another plan. Yes. Somebody in the prayer meeting may have something to release that takes the prayer meeting to a new level. Mm -hmm. Many mm -hmm. don't go to prayer and I ask them why. They say, Pastor Greg, it's dead. We yeah. have a list, a shopping basket, yeah. and we come week after week after week to yeah. ask God for things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we don't mm -hmm. see any results. Mm -hmm. We're saying, if you are humble, if you're flexible, and if you are just open enough for others to participate in the prayer, something will change. You want to say something about that? Yeah, no, going? that's very, very important. In fact, that's what makes things current and relevant. Mm -hmm. Because some, and, and prayer is not coming with the shopping basket. Yeah. Because as you see, it's it's your will be done. Yes. It's your will be done in our it's life. asking God so for So sometimes his will. we can come with what we want. Yeah. And if it's not aligned with the will of God, mm -hmm. we don't get an answer. Then we get discouraged. Yes. But if we come and be spontaneous according to the Holy Spirit's movement, then we get in the rhema word yeah. of what God wants to do in the prayer. Amen. 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 So if you're there with us, we've tackled number one personal prayer every one of us should pray as often as possible not only in the morning not only in the evening but all day long in the spirit as the lord leads you secondly corporate prayer every church there's a corporate anointing mm -hmm. how good and pleasant it is for mm -hmm. brothers to come together mm -hmm. in unity and Pastor Lonely read from Ephesians that the, that the wisdom of God, the manifold wisdom of God, yeah. will be made manifest through the church. Prayer is an intricate part of that. We want to thank Thomas for joining us. Mm -hmm. Mario, our son in Cape Town, for joining us. Lynn in the UK. Lynn, thank you for joining yes. us. Lynn, we're Welcome, so blessed. Uh, one of our daughters mm -hmm. who's now living mm -hmm. out in the UK. Thank you, Lynn, for joining us. And we've also got Janelle Chetty. And Janelle has asked for a prayer request. Janelle, th mm. thank you for joining. I'm going to ask Pastor Knowles right now to pray for you because you've asked that God will do something very special in your life. Let's just pray for Janelle. Agree with us, everybody, right there where you are. Hallelujah. Father, we remember Janelle Chetty, Lord. Yes. We thank you, God, for their business. We thank you for giving them the mandate for yes, business. Yes, Jesus. So we release open doors over their business now yes, in right the name now. of Jesus. The favor we of release God. good relationships. We release kindred spirit around them lord yes, we lord. release their finances thank we you, pray Father. god every stronghold that's over the finances yes, we break yes, it in the yes, name in of jesus, jesus name. and we release god unto them oh god a hundredfold and return oh god yes. restore what the canker worm has eaten in we pray jesus in jesus name, name. lord jesus we also name. remember a brother who's unemployed and we remember all those out Open there that doors, are unemployed lord. lord we are so yes. excited for what you're doing in the nation yeah. just this morning we saw a release yeah. of billions and billions of rands yes, at the economic that, investment for our nation yeah. and we believe the prophetic word coming god that we are about to enter into our harvest. Yes. So Lord, every person unemployed, we pray for creativity, we pray for a know-how, we pray for wisdom, we pray for businesses to open doors, we pray God that you, God, will be able to open doors that no man can shut. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus we pray. Thank you, amen Lord. And Janelle, amen. we agree amen. with you as Pastor Nolz pray that God has answered your prayer. Jesus Brothers name. and sisters, if you've just joined us, we've spoken about personal prayer, mm -hmm. we've spoken about prayer in the context of the local mm -hmm. church, mm -hmm. and uh, all this in the mm -hmm. whole under mm -hmm. the, the, the banner revival. God is bringing a renewal and awakening mm -hmm. across the church. And right now we're going to take a few moments mm -hmm. and we want you to listen to this clip. It's a powerful clip by uh, Dr. Hagee uh, or Pastor Hagee, and he was preaching on the power of prayer. And uh, as you listen in, you can still send us your prayer requests. We will be praying. I also want to say thank you, Owen Chetty, for joining us. Owen, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. So wonderful to see you connecting with us, Owen. And right now, we're going to switch over. Our media department's going to connect us yes. with this powerful clip on the power of prayer. See you in a little bit. What is prayer? Prayer is conversation with God. You don't have to talk to God in the King James. You don't have to speak in a foreign language or make it iamic pentameter. Some of the best prayers I've ever prayed sounded like this. Help! <laughs> and that's a fact. Prayer is not sending God to run on your errands. A Christian must get on his knees before he gets on his feet. Prayer is, not getting pre God, prayer is not getting God prepared to do your will. Prayer is getting you ready to do God's will. The Lord's Prayer, say this, not my will, but thine be done. Say that with me. Not my will, but thine be done. Prayer is the only way to release the supernatural power of God in your life, in your marriage, in your business, to show you great and mighty things. But the question is, as powerful as God is, 
God cannot answer prayer until you pray. You often hear, or I often hear people say, well, I wonder when God is going to do something. The initiative rests with you, not God. God says, when you pray, I will answer. When you bind up, when you, what you bind on earth, I'll bind in heaven. What you loose on earth, I will loose in heaven. But the initiative rests with you. God's not sitting there wondering what you want. He wants you to tell him. Because if you tell him in faith, believing, you will receive it. Give the Lord praise in the house. As powerful as God is, he cannot answer prayer until you pray it. Prayer is the key that unlocks the gates of heaven and closes the gates of hell. Prayer has the power to cure sickness and disease. Prayer can shatter the shackles of misery and habits that enslave you, the torments of your son, the thing that's destroying your daughter, your husband, your wife. Prayer can change that. Prayer does not need proof. Prayer needs practice. Intellectuals in America are jabbering about God being so distant and God being so far off. He's a cosmic being doting grandfather sitting benignly in the heavens, totally unaware and out of control. Listen up, dummy. God is as close as your next prayer. He can move heaven and earth. He's waiting on people of prayer to simply prevail in the authority of Jesus' name. Prayer is the weapon that God has given to his children to wage war in the heavenlies. When we say we bind and loose, what are we talking about? Paul said we're talking about powers and principalities in the heavenlies. There are supernatural beings that have structure and order who are under the command of the prince of darkness. That would be the devil. And if you really get in a heavyweight fight, you're going to meet these people. And the way that you meet them is in the authority of Jesus' name. You bind them in your family. You bind them from your children. You bind them from your business. You bind them from your future. And you do so in the authority of Jesus' name. And it happens. Church of Jesus Christ, stop complaining about the attacks on your life by the prince of darkness. Attack him, bind him, curse him in the authority of Jesus' name. Put your foot on the head of the devil and watch him squirm. The victory is ours through Christ the Lord. Satan is a defeated foe. Think like it, talk like it, act like it, pray like it. The victory is ours. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Is your marriage under attack? Pray. Is your child being tormented by the prince of darkness? Pray. Is your business failing? Pray. Are you fighting a dreaded disease? Pray. Are you lost and without God? Pray. Is your life empty? Pray. Is your life meaningless and hopeless? Pray. 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 God answers prayer. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The tragedy of our day is not unanswered prayer, but unoffered prayer. Prayer will either make you leave off sinning or sin will make you leave off praying. You will either embarrass sin or sin will embarrass you. Why pray? Because anointed prayer raises above the need level. Dear God, water the grass and take care of the post-nasal drip of my parrot. That's not spiritual warfare. Anointed prayer rises above the need level. Consider St. Paul. Paul was stoned and left for dead. That means the bones in his body were broken. He was whipped with a cat, Roman cat of nine tails three times. That means he had almost 120 series of scars on his body. 
He did not ask the church to pray for his broken bones or the arthritis caused by those broken bones or the fact that he was in jail again or the fact that the Romans had whipped him again or the fact that his name was in the fake news again as being a a religious fanatic. He said, pray for me that I may speak the Lord with more boldness. What? That's what got you put in prison, boldness. Boldness is what got him in jail. He wanted boldness, boldness. God is sitting in heaven saying, pray to me. Ask me for great things. Ask me to pull down strongholds. Ask me to break Satan's grip over your job, over your family. Elevate your prayer list from now I lay me down to sleep to spiritual warfare. Go to war, go to war in the authority of Jesus' name. Ask God for big things. Ask God for big things. Nothing is impossible when that gets really in your brain. Nothing is impossible with God. Ask him to defeat the giants in your life. When you have a big need, ask big. Ask him to send fire from heaven. Ask him to walk you through the fiery furnace. Ask him. He's the God who cannot fail. And he's just waiting to show you his awesome power. You need to turn that power loose in the authority of Jesus' name. Give the Lord praise in this house. There's only one power available to change the course of history. And that is the power of prayer prayed by God-fearing, Christ-believing men. I've lived, sir, a long time, and the longer I live, the more convincing proofs I see of this truth, that God governs in the affairs of men. And if a sparrow cannot fall to the ground without his notice, it is probable that an empire cannot rise without his aid. It seems to be instinctive in man to pray in times of trouble. Christ commanded his followers to pray, both by the example he set in praying and in his teaching. So fervent and direct were his prayers that once when he had finished praying, his followers turned to him and said, Lord, teach us to pray. On another occasion, he taught them to pray by way of illustration through a parable. He taught of the widow and the unjust judge who rendered a favorable decision to the widow, not because he feared her, but because of her perseverance. So Jesus said that men ought always to pray. From one end of the Bible to the other, there are stories of those whose prayers have been answered, men who turned the tide of history by prayer, Men who fervently prayed and God answered. Abraham prayed. And as long as he prayed, God would not destroy the city of Sodom where Abraham's nephew Lot was living. Elijah prayed and God sent fire from heaven to consume the offering of the root altar he had built in the presence of God's enemies. Elisha prayed and the son of the Shumanite woman was raised from the dead. Daniel prayed and the secret of God was made known to him to the saving of his companions and the changing of the course of history. Jesus prayed at the door of the tomb of Lazarus, and the one who had been dead for four days came forth. The thief prayed, and Jesus assured him that this day he would be with him in paradise. Paul prayed, and hundreds of churches were born in Asia Minor and Europe. Peter prayed, and Dorcas was raised to life to have added years of service for Jesus Christ. John Knox prayed, and Queen Mary said that she feared the prayers of John Knox more than she feared all the armies of Scotland. John Wesley prayed, and revival came to England, sparing her the horrors of the French Revolution. Jonathan Edwards prayed, and revival came to Northampton, where more than 50,000 people joined the churches. History has been changed time after time because of prayer. I tell you, history could be altered and changed again if people went to their knees in believing prayer. What a glorious thing it would be. If you enjoy these short instructional videos and you want more, subscribe to Grace Digital Network and comment below. Well, Facebook buddies, wasn't that a powerful clip? I mean, when I watched it, Pastor Nolan found the clip uh, or looked for it and 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 uh, recommended it to uh, for us for this program. I was just so so inspired that God really answers prayer and that it's the responsibility not just of a structure called the church,
but we as individuals call the church. That God wants us to seek his face with boldness, with confidence, and with authority. Before we take a little bit further, I just want to commend a few people like Rhoda. Thank you for joining us. We've also got other people like Megan, Michael, Craig Gopal, uh, Adele, uh, Leandra Nock, Celeste Roberts, Teresa. Thank you for joining us. Miri Butelezi, Stacey Colborn, Brandon, and Terence Pariachi. Thank you guys for joining us in this time of understanding the, 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 the whole thing about prayer. It's personal. It's corporate. But God also sometimes takes us wider. Where prayer that happens corporately, Pastor Nolin, can give birth to a movement. Yeah. That which we are prophesying over the city, mm -hmm. prophesying over our church and other churches. Mm -hmm. Revival. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about prayer in the mm -hmm. context of revival. Yeah, I'm reminded by Andrew Murray. Mm -hmm. You know, he made a quote. He says, a revived church is the only hope for a dying world. Yeah. Uh, so if we don't also engage with the world, then we, we then what's the point of praying? We are irrelevant. We are irrelevant, yeah, right? Yeah. So even though the churches, we have to pray for ourselves, pray for our ministries, pray for our families, pray for the church. Yes. We have to also pray for the world because yeah. because that's where we've been given the great commission. Go yes. we out there mm -hmm. and make disciples of all men. So that's yeah. how we do missions. Yes. Yeah. Now now part of a revived church, mm -hmm. you can only have a revived church if you're a praying church. Yeah. And if you're not a praying church, it's gone. I think of um, I think it's uh, uh, Samuel Chadwick. He says this. He says prayer turns ordinary mortals into men of power. Amen. Amen. It brings power. Yeah. It brings life. It yeah. brings freedom. It brings rain. It brings life. It brings God. And a church is only as effective as its ability to seek the face of God that's in right. prayer. That's right. So if we pray personally, that's great. We pray as a church, that's great. But if the prayer that happens in a church doesn't spill over mm -hmm. into impacting the city, mm -hmm. impacting the nation, and sending us into missions, I mean the apostolic faith mission mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is a church in this country that was born out of the Azusa revival. Yeah. Azusa has yeah. a, a tremendous yeah. outpouring of God. Mm -hmm. People go to all corners of the mm -hmm. earth to share the love of God. You cannot say... No. That we are effective if no. our prayer mm -hmm. is not mobilizing yeah. us to reach the lost, mm -hmm. minister to the broken, bring deliverance to those that are bound in chains, mm -hmm. and healing to those that are mm -hmm. sick in body mm -hmm. and sick emotionally. Mm -hmm. You want to take us a bit further with that? Yeah, no, it's, it's so true. I think we've become so self-focused yes. that we don't even realize that we've been, we, we get illnesses that, that can't even be diagnosed. Yes. You know, many today, mm -hmm. depression, I believe, is on the increase yeah. because many go to the doctor and they can't diagnose what's wrong with them. Yeah. It's because we've become lifeless. Yeah. It's because, I mean, I'm thinking thinking of another quote here by Leonard Ravenel. He says, yeah. the only reason we don't have revival is because we are willing to live without it. Yeah. And many of us... Because so there's no those, desperation there's in no our hearts. There's no desperation. There's yeah. no... I mean, I think the one revivalist even said something. The reason why the earth dies is because there's no hunger for God. Yeah. Yeah. No hunger for God. Well, Facebook buddies, if you've joined us, Pastor Knowles has just made a critical point here. The, the reason why there's no revival is because we don't desire it. Or we are not at the place of absolute mm -hmm. hunger. Mm -hmm. If you've just joined us, we've got Aurelia. Thank you, Aurelia. We've got uh, Dominda. We've got Melissa. And we've got Karen. Karen, thank you for joining us. Um, we're on the subject of personal prayer, corporate prayer, and prayer that gives birth to mission yeah. or the kingdom of God yes. becoming real yes. in every sector of yes. society. Yes. Right now, we have an expectation from God to mm -hmm. visit us even as we're speaking. Mm -hmm. Because God is not limited mm -hmm. just to the two of us no. here. No. We thank God for social media, mm. but mm. right there where you are, mm. you can tap into the realm of heaven and pull heaven down to earth. Yes. You want to speak further into this whole yeah, thing no, about you... revival yeah. or prayer in the house, birthing out to reaching lost people and extending the kingdom. Yes, you have to do that. You know, they say many of the world's, I mean, if you think of Thailand, and I'm going to read an illustration mm -hmm. here, it says there are very few Christians in Thailand. Mm -hmm. The Christian workers who are there say that it is very difficult to bring even one person to Christ. Right. Right? There are millions of Buddhist monks in Thailand who pray continually. Yeah. Keeping a demonic stronghold over the place. Wow. Now, that for me is a lesson to us. Yeah. That if we stop praying, Pastor Greg, yes. and you know what's the interesting thing? That, uh, uh, it's another quote that I've got written here. It says, if you pray in secret, then... God will reward you openly. If you, if the secret of praying is praying in secret. Mm. 
Right. Say that again. The secret of, of praying, praying is praying in secret. Mm -hmm. So many of us wait now to for wait for, audience. we wait for corporate prayer on a Tuesday night yeah. or Wednesday night or whatever. And that's the only time we pray. Yeah. But we have not learned the secret of praying in secret right. so that our prayers can be answered in secret. Yeah. Now, here is the illustration I gave you just of one nation yeah. where they are There's outside. A There's a stronghold over. because they are committed to praying 24-7. Yeah. In the midst, in the while they're busy about their business, yes. they're praying over that. Yeah. How much more we can bring peace, freedom. I mean, I saw this morning again, you're talking about uh, our nation. Mm -hmm. I saw this morning when the, when the Rugby World Cup, yes. they held up the trophy with the yes. president. So many people gathered out there yeah. saying that we're one nation. Now, yeah. if we can do that physically, imagine spiritually, what if we accomplish? unlock the heavens yeah. and we're all in agreement, all yeah. in unity, yeah. all like-mindedness to bring down heaven and earth, then God's will will be done over yeah. our lives. Well, Facebook buddies, you heard it from Pastor Nolene. The reason why a church will stand even attacks, the reason how a family will be able to weather the storms, the enemy will point in their direction. The reason why you as a Christian will be able to go through the wilderness experience mm -hmm. without giving up on God mm -hmm. is if mm -hmm. you put enough into your prayer bank. We have to invest in the prayer bank. Mm -hmm. And for that, we got to be at the place where we seek the face of the Lord. And I really believe that God wants to create a hunger over you. If you've been watching and you've been joining in with us, God wants to rebirth a hunger for prayer. And I'm going to call Pastor Nolan again, just to pray that God, anybody who's currently watching, and there's so many, I also want to say thank you, Brenda, um, Darren Sami for joining us. Even as Brenda joins us and many others that I've mentioned earlier on, that God would just birth inside of you a fresh hunger for prayer. Yeah. Because that hunger will spill into the church, into the church, out into the city, out into missions, out into the four corners of the earth. Let's pray, Pastor Noni, right now that God will birth a fresh hunger in the hearts of people. Mm -hmm. Because we know how mm -hmm. many churches have a handful of people at their prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. And many mm -hmm. don't even pray at all. Can you pray for us, please? Father, we thank you for who you are. Yes, Jesus. We thank you, first of all, for the word of God, which is our food. Yes. And by which we pray. And I pray, God, that as we pray, we've mentioned the word of God. We've released the power of the spirit of God. Yeah. We pray that we will be, we will be nourished yeah. and we will be made strong, Father. For yes. it says in Second Chronicles 7, verse 14, If my, my people, people who are called by my name, name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Father, I pray for those who re requiring healing. Let the healing virtue and the balm of healing name. flow over them in now. Jesus I name. pray for those that are hungry. I pray for a hunger for the yes. word of God. To, a to hunger, come God, to come people, over God. your people at this yes, time. That they will prayer, be desperate, Lord. oh God. Mm. Desperate mm. to seek you. Desperate to pray with you. Desperate to fast. Desperate mm. to seek seek your face, oh God. Not your shopping basket of what they want, yes. but that their needs will be met according to the will of God. Mm. I pray that over each person now, Father, I thank you and I silence the worry. I silence anxiety. Yes. I silence, oh God, depression. Yes. I silence anything untowards, oh God. Anything out of alignment the name of to the will of God over every person in watching the name this of morning. Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus yes, that those who wait upon the Lord will be renewed Renew their strength. strength. Yes. Your strength will be renewed as you wait upon the Lord and as you sit on the feet of Jesus, your emotional, yes. physical, yes. spiritual power yes. will be will return in and Jesus that the demands name. that are put upon you yeah. will be met because of the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you will come near to God this yes, morning Lord. and that as He comes near to you, as you go nearer to Him, He will come nearer to you, yeah. that you will not be alone, that you will not be fearful, that you will not feel lonely, but that the power of God will strengthen you and be able to draw you nearer to himself this morning. Mm -hmm. I pray that as we close, Father, that as we seek your face, yes. we will seek you, we will find you. We will seek you and we will find you. And as we seek you and find you, God, we know that all matters yes. of our heart will be met mm -hmm. because you are a good, good Father. Thank In you, Jesus God. Name. Thank you, God, that your ears mm -hmm. have heard this morning and that your eyes move to and fro, God. But you have seen this morning. And so every person out there that has a request that's reaching out to you, pour in the Holy Spirit. Draw them by your spirit this morning. For those that are seeking salvation, I pray by the power of yes, the name Lord. of Jesus, yes, by Lord. the blood of Jesus Christ that you are redeemed. For those that have lost things this morning, I pray that you will be restored in the name of Jesus. A hundredfold. I pray for restoration, Father. Mm -hmm. I pray for more than above, God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that every person, healing, deliverance, financial breakthrough, 
through protection, preservation, yes. whatever you need yes. out there this yes. morning. Let the Lord comfort you and put his arms around you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Well, that was powerful. I could sense Thank the anointing you, of God Thank right you, here in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Just to acknowledge a Thank few you, people Lord. before we bring our time to a close. Thank, Thank you, Father. Annie. Uh, Pakari for thank joining you, us. Thank you, Brandon um, Ashby for joining us. Bridget Spaulding, thank you. And uh, Brenda Torasami, we want to give God thanks for you. And any person that we may have left out, mm -hmm. we just want to say thank you for joining in with us. Later. We just want to yes. say a few things before we wrap up. Number one is if you're right there now, and Pastor Noni's prayed it, and you're not born again, you have a need, you're broken, you're battered, mm -hmm. or you're feeling lost right now, I believe the Holy Spirit and Jesus mm -hmm. can come into your life and change you forever. Won't you just pray this prayer mm -hmm. after me? Just open your hands as a sign of surrender and, and say, Lord Jesus, or you may even be backslidden. Mm -hmm. You've been hurt by us, the church. The church, by and large, is shepherded by human beings. Mm -hmm. And as human beings, we can get some stuff wrong. Jesus so if you've been hurt by any pastor, whether it's us or any pastor in the city or any pastor in the world, we ask for your forgiveness mm -hmm. because we are human. But we know there's a good shepherd who never fails you. That shepherd is Jesus. Won't you just pray this prayer after Thank me? Won't you, you say, Lord Jesus? Lord Jesus. I open my heart. Open my heart. And I come to you. Come to you. As a sinner. As a sinner. In need of a savior. In need of a savior. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. By faith. By faith. I accept you. I accept as you. My as my savior. And as my Lord. As my Lord. Empower me. Empower with me. your Holy Spirit. With my Holy Give me the ability. Give me the to ability. say no. Say no. To sin. To and, yes, and yes to the kingdom of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. And amen. Thank you, Father. We ask you to kindly share this broadcast so many others can get exposed to the content that was shared with today. If you came to know the Lord and uh, you live in the Peter Maddersburg area and you don't have a fellowship, we ask you to come to us at 320 Boom Street, God's Family Life Church. We meet at 7.30 on a Sunday morning, 9.30, and we also meet at 5 p.m. As we get closer to the Christmas season, we will have one service, but for now, those are the three services that we have. If you were backslidden, but have recommitted yourself to Christ, Jesus, go you. back to your local church, show yourself to your pastor, and say, I've been struggling. Now I've come back to the Lord. Help me. I want to get reintegrated into the life of the church. And uh, God bless you. We'll see you soon. Pastor Noli, any uh, parting words yes, you'd like to say? Yes, may the Holy Spirit guide you and inspire you and get ready for the greatest harvest that the Church of God has ever seen. It's about to blow our minds away. So God bless you. Stay on your knees. Stay in the secret place and watch all the secrets of heaven be unfolded to us in these last and closing days. In Jesus' name. God bless you. We love you and see you soon. Thank you again for joining in GFLT Magazine Live. Noontime every Thursday. Share the broadcast. Host a watch party. God bless you.